Hey there YouTube and welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. Today's video is not going to be a detailing video and it's not going to be a review video or anything like that. I have been really busy over the last couple weeks, haven't been able to make any videos and I wanted to be able to get a video out this weekend because I had nothing, I had absolutely zero uh, videos to put out for this weekend. Memorial Day weekend and I'm going to be busy. I'm detailing a camper Friday and Saturday, going to the Indy 500 on Sunday and then Monday's probably just going to be a relaxed type day after being at the Indy 500 all day and it's supposed to be 91 degrees here on Saturday I'm gonna be detailing an RV so I'm gonna be wore out by Saturday night and then going to the track the next day and being I think they said 88 degrees on Sunday for the race so I'm gonna be wore out come Monday so I wanted to at least get this video out because I ordered some stuff from a company I've never ordered from so I wanted to show you guys that um, first I'm gonna show you what I've been busy with I bought a 2006 Jeep Grand Cherokee and it needs an engine. I bought it for my wife. The car came into the shop, just a little bit of a backstory. The car came in the shop, towed in, put the customer put a starter on it, a new battery in it, still wouldn't start. We turned the crank, you can only turn a quarter of a turn one way, quarter of a turn the other way. We knew what it was, most likely a rod had broken and it got jammed and couldn't move around. So I got the engine. This is not the engine that was bad. This engine right here. I got from my brother-in-law. He was able to get it for me. Um, there was no core charge on this engine. It's the exact same engine, and the only thing that was wrong with it is that it had blown head gaskets, and one of the heads is warped, so no big deal. Get the head straightened out, but here is here is the block. Sorry about the camera work. I'm doing this on my own. Here's the block. It's basically a bare block right now. Crankshaft is in here, but I have, I have taken it out. But uh, block's in really good shape. Uh, cast iron block, chances of actually warping that are slim to none. So I got, you know, I got to get timing chains and everything. Then over here is where I've got the cylinder heads. I'm trying to watch the camera. I have already cleaned these up. As you can see, they were black all through here. And I might be able to show you on my phone here in a minute what they used to look like. And I cleaned those up in my Harbor Freight blast cabinet. I use soda in there. And the reason that I use soda is soda is water soluble so once I get done blasting it with the soda this the soda actually when it hits it just kind of explodes um, and it doesn't if it gets in the oil passages you just rinse it all down with water it dissolves in the water no chance of uh, harming the engine if you use glass bead it can actually get into oil passages in the engine it can actually get stuck on piston rings and then and scar uh, score up the uh, the cylinder walls where the pistons go but there's one of the heads here is the other head it's pretty much cleaned up as well as clean as it's going to get because it's just going to get dirty after a while and then here's all the valves what i did find this valve right here the intake valve on the right bank was bent the head's good the uh, valve guides are good back here i'm gonna do the best i can would be the camshafts and then you've got the uh, rockers the valve springs valve seals I don't have all the pistons torn apart yet but piston rings and then the piston bearings rod bearings and then over here in the oil are the lifters that I took out of the engine and then here's three of the pistons that I've already cleaned and I cleaned these in the blast cabinet as well Makes the pistons almost look brand new. Got new piston rings and bearings coming, main and rod bearings coming. Clean the oil pickup, it's good. So, that's what I've been up to. And it's been kind of a pain, but there's the oil pump. And what I've got coming, I've already ordered, I got a head gasket kit coming that comes with brand new valves. Um, I've got timing chain kit coming. I got main bearings, rod bearings rod bolts uh, let's see what else oil pump i don't know if i already said that water pump everything basically to rebuild this block i'm actually going to once i get it once i get the lower portion of the block the pistons in oil pan on i'm going to paint the block i know it's kind of that's just me i like to have a nice new looking block when i put it in there so, so i made the whole video and i forgot i told you i was going to show you some of the pictures of the engine that i pulled out of the grand cherokee and tore down to see what happened and uh, so I'm going to have to edit this into the middle of that video. So, do this quickly. Hopefully I can get it in the screen. 
There's the oil pan, how I took it down. There's a rod right there. There's bearing material, there's pistons. There's more. There's a rod right there, bearings. That is what's left of one of the pistons. And I just took this picture for reference. The timing chain was still intact, actually. And that's just showing the EGR port. Yeah, okay, so there's a piston. And I'm going to put this one close to the phone because this one's kind of crazy. Phone close. That's a hole in the cylinder wall. And right where my finger was, right there, is a freeze plug. So you can actually see the freeze plug from the inside. I don't know what else I got on here. That's uh, showing it's got broken rods. Every rod was broken. All six were broken. Some were left on here. Some weren't. That's just a video I had. That's show, showing the oil pump. That's just showing my bolts. So I remember where the bolts go. My main bearings. Thrush washers. There's the valve that was bent right there. Just the parts. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do my best to get this in the camera. Right here is the one that I cleaned with soda before. And that's what it looked like before. And that's what it looked like after. Here's what I ordered. It's a company called Shiny's Detail. I'd never heard of them. I was on Facebook and saw an ad, went to their page. They had really good reviews. Um, not a lot of reviews, but the reviews that they did have were good. And what I ordered, and this is why I ordered, because they were cheap. I ordered, I don't know if my, Try to get it the best I can. The Bullshine Professional Microfiber Light Blue, 16 inch by 16 inch, a 20 pack, 20 pack for $15. Now those are China and I don't care about that for what I'm gonna be using them for. And then I use the, I got the Bullshine Twister Towel Gray, 20 inch by 40 inch. It's a drying towel, $17.99. And cover up my address, but hopefully the camera's picking that up. I paid zero for shipping and I ordered it on a Sunday night. It was not this Sunday, but the Sunday before. I ordered it on Sunday night, free shipping. Expected it to take a week and a half, two weeks. You know how free shipping is. And I ordered it Sunday night, I had it Wednesday. So, so far, obviously they have great customer service. Came in a box like this. <clears throat> Dropping stuff. Came with a shiny detail sticker, which is great. I'll put it on my cabinet so that I won't forget where I ordered this stuff from. Here is the drying towel. The $17.99 towel. And this towel right here. Man, I'm terrible at getting stuff in the screen. Let's see if I can just... Uh, I know it says it right there. Made in South Korea. That's where the best microfibers in the world are made, South Korea. So this is a very as uh, South Korea, so it should be really good. And I saw people's uh, reviews on it on their page said that it was just as good as Griot's Garage PFM towel, which is $40. So this is less than half the price. So if it's anywhere near as good as the Griot's Garage PFM towel, which I have some of their small PFMs, but not their big drying one, then I'll be stoked um, with this. Open it up here. Try to get back as far as I can. It's not real wide, but it is very, very long. And it does, it does feel, it's heavy, just like the PFM towels from Griot's. And it feels just like it. it smells kind of funny, but I'm gonna wash them before I use them anyways, but hopefully it works the same. Sure feels like it would. I mean, that, that sucker's heavy. And then I'm only gonna open one of these I hope I'm not wrong on this. I think these are 300 GSM, which is perfect for polish removal, wax removal. And I know people are, might say, well, China, you know, stay away from China. I'm not gonna be using these for a, you know, using a detail spray to get the car buffed and everything. This is gonna be for wax removal and polish removal, stuff that you really don't have to worry about scratching the car with. And they are soft. I know they're only 300 GSM. They are edgeless towels. Are they the best microfibers I've ever had? No, I can tell you that right now just by holding it. But they are, they are very soft. And the one side, one side is definitely softer than the other. It has, I think they call them microfiber uh, pleats. Definitely they stick out more. 
this side's more flat, but that's perfectly fine. That's how the Griot's tiles that I have are, and they work great for polish removal. And like I said, I'm, I paid 75 cents a towel. If I get five, 10 uses out of each towel, 20 towels, I definitely got my money's worth for what I'm gonna use. And these are what I would consider throwaway towels. You know, you get it, you get it uh, dirty to the point where you can't get the dirt out of it, or you start noticing that it's starting to flatten out on you. Throw in the trash. $15, free shipping. Well, I got free shipping because I bought that drying towel. But $15, I think shipping would have been like five or $6 on it for 20 microfibers. I think that is a great deal. And I'm gonna do reviews on them later on when I start using them. In fact, I'm gonna do it probably this weekend when I do the camper. This camper that I'm doing is just a wash and a wax. He doesn't care about swirl marks. He doesn't care about anything like that. He just wants a good wax on it because it sits outside all the time in the, in the winter here in Indiana. We get a lot of snow and ice and he doesn't care about that. He just wants it protected. But that'd be a good, that'd be a good towel to use to remove the wax and plus I have 20 of them now. Because my problem is <clears throat> with the Griot's towels is they are expensive. For three towels for polish removal cloths, the ones I used to buy, I think they were $17.99 I think don't hold me to that but it was something like that $17.99 and I had and that gave me three so I bought two packs I only had six and by the time I got three cores away around a car I was out of polish removal cloth so I was going to cheapies and I really didn't like doing those some freebies that I had from when my wife worked at a, at a automotive repair place or automotive uh, parts place but these I think are gonna be good I think I'm not gonna run out now I've got plenty of towels for when I polish or when I remove wax and I think that's a great buy. Like I said, I'll do a full review later. And I wanted to do this video um, tonight. This is, what is this? Wednesday night before Memorial Day weekend. This is the 23rd. <clears throat> I just haven't had a chance to make any videos. And when I got home from my daughter's sectional softball game tonight, which they lost, unfortunately, um, in the second round of sectionals. And they've won sectionals uh, two years in a row and went to the semi-state championship game and lost her freshman year. But this is her junior year, they lost. Um, I got home and I told my wife, I said, I've got to make a video. I want to put a I, I try to put a video out every Saturday and that is not easy for me when I have kids in sports and I got some kid yelling somewhere. When I got kids in sports, my son plays baseball, my daughter plays softball, my daughter plays volleyball. We've got school functions going on tomorrow night. My youngest daughter has a program and my son has a baseball game. So much stuff going on and I, I can't make a video as often as I want, but I try to, my best to put a video out every Saturday. So if you don't see a video from me, on a Saturday, because that's normally Saturday morning, 9 a.m. is when I put my videos out. If you don't see a video, don't worry. I, I will get a video out. I'm hoping to make videos this weekend for the, on the camper or find some other type of video to make. I don't know. I'm hoping that I can take my camera into the track. That's what I'm really hoping and do a Indy 500 video. Not not film the whole race or anything like that, but show you what it's like, you know, walking up the grandstands and seeing the track for the first time. That place is amazing. Now you can only see about a quarter of the race, uh, but where we sit, there's a big, humongous TV right in front of us. So once they go in front of us through turn one, through the short shoot, and you can see them about halfway out of turn two, and then you can't see them until they get back around. We got a screen right in front of us, and we can just pick it up from there, and we can watch the race. And I think it'd be a really cool video to make to show you if you've never experienced the Indy 500. It is something, especially people that are watching my videos are automotive people, you've got to experience once in your life. It is an amazing time. The crowd, it's, it's a blast. Now the crowd is a little big sometimes and a little rowdy because everybody's drinking. I don't, me and my wife, we don't drink, but everybody's drinking and having a good time. And the beginning, you know, hearing taps being played, it gives me, I got chills right now. Th look, I got chills right now talking about taps being played. Um, at the Indy 500 and and then seeing the the airplanes usually their a10 warhogs uh fly over um sometimes they used to be f-16s one year they had a stealth bomber actually fly over it's just i still got goosebumps talking about this it's just a, a once in a lifetime experience you have to experience it is just an absolute blast and it's it's just really really fun and fortunately like i said you can only see about a quarter of the race but here i am blabbering on i said this is going to be a short video but now you see I've been busy. I want to get this engine done. The parts are going to be here next week. So maybe I may miss a weekend. Um, I'll try to make up for it if I do. But I at least wanted to show you guys the shiny details. They are. I'm not a sponsor. I, I don't have a thousand subscribers. They're not sponsored me. I paid for this with my own money. As you can see, the total was $32.99. I paid with my own money. It's just a new company that I found. And look for a review video 
on these towels in the future and i really hope that they work out that drying towel i know will i can tell you right now it feels just like that pfm towel and it's made in south korea so and like i said the other towels are china but those are what i consider throwaway towels they're good they're actually good for cleaning carpet if you want to dashboards whatever they're just a good utility microfiber 300 or 320 gsm doesn't say but I, it's either 300 or 300 GSM, GSM, and like I said, they feel pretty soft. So I hope you like this video. I know it was just a short video telling you what's going on, and I got that order in and all the stuff that I've been doing. So hopefully I can get a video out next weekend, an actual detailing video on the RV that I'm doing this week, and we'll just pick things back up. Now that the busy season's almost over because my daughter's softball's over, my son's baseball's over here in a couple weeks, and then hopefully I've got some free nights to be making more videos. So I hope you like this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button while you're down there. We got more videos coming soon, and we will just see you next time.